Oh, I can't pick him up. All right, let's find out if I can... <gasps> Dude. Talk about epic. I could just chill here and have my way with him. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with Elemental Ark, having so much fun doing flips! Man, oh man! Guys, how you doing today? Hope you're doing good. Me, personally, I'm doing amazing. That's right, because today's kind of a special day. I have been grinding my butt off, getting all of the Alpha Karkonos Claws. Yes, and we finally have enough that we can go ahead and summon in the Glacial Karkonos. It should be pretty dang cool. And uh, also, just a reminder, at the end of the episode, we'll be naming our... Apocalypt apocalyptic dragon Wu Tao Long, aka Ghidorah. Let's just toss this guy out. It is so incredibly sick. It's gonna have a pretty big animation. Check it out. And ready? Oh my lord! I can't even see, bro. What in the crap is going on? Yikes! Now that is what I call an entrance. Yeah, pretty sick. Probably the most powerful kaiju that we have got yet this season. It is absolutely stunning. It is awesome. It's almost hard to see it in its entirety on the screen. We, yes, we do need a name for it. So I hope you guys love some epic name suggestions. And let's carry on. So let's go to our elemental infuser. I went ahead and uh, I infused a bunch of them. Finally got a good one. This is with our snow owl and our mammoth, giving us 238 in the melee and 203 in the health. It's uh, it's pretty sick. So the Karkanos, to me, this was... I hope it's good because it is in likely the most expensive. 20... 20 Alpha Carcano's Claws to do this bad boy. If you want to do the Mosa, it's only two. Yeah, insanity. But uh, also 100 Stone Rock Drake Feathers and 100 Frost Ones plus the Glacial Essence, which is Stone and Ice. So we finally have enough. Oh, you better give me a good one, bro. You better give me what... Yup, we got it. Epic! I had one time where he gave me a level six of it, but yeah, pretty dang sick. So I am excited, guys. And oh, by the way, if you're enjoying the series, please do not forget to slam that thumbs up button. That's right. It really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. All right, let's get to it. So Karkanos. What's it going to be like? Boom! All right. Wow. Ooh, that's pretty cool looking. Look at this guy. All those crazy cracks. So it's part stone, part ice. Um, Usually it's a pretty good combo, this type. It takes a normal Carcano saddle. Very cool. Let's go ahead, put on level up counter and the teleporter. And let's make a keep folder. All right. Epic. Epic. Oh, let's pick it up to refresh it and let's go on our first ride. Oh man, I really hope we like this guy. Um, let me just double check that we have some scuba because we're probably going to need it with this guy. You know, I wonder if they have elemental scuba. This I do not know. I know we can use our tech, but the tech helmet messes up sometimes. It can be kind of annoying. All right, here we go. Wow! Now, being a glacial type, oftentimes it's uh, it's a little slow. Um, the stone type gives uh, is it's a little slow, but it might actually be able to harvest stuff. All right, and as I thought, we'd sink right down to the bottom, but we can hop back up. Come on, show the peeps! Yeah, I love Carcanos. Honestly, one of the coolest creatures. Aberration was such a good DLC. Adding in Rock Drakes, Carcanos, Basilisk. I love it. 
Anyway, I'm making my way over to the island. And, uh, yeah, let's start to level this bad boy up. All right, finally made it up to what I like to call the dead island. Let's put a couple of XP boosters in this dude. And uh, let's see what's up. Oh, that was in the boot. And that's also on a guy that I... Well, actually, we're, we're neutral, that guy. Maybe even effective. Ice isn't, I don't think, good against fire, but then stone is phenomenal against fire. So it all ends up working out. So the question is, what is the deep? That looks funny. His claw looked kind of funny. The way he lifted it up. I don't know. Ooh, Giga. Giga, 560 lightning. Come on. Let's get him. All right, we're doing awesome. My lord. Without a single level, we took out a Giga. I cannot believe it, bro. That is amazing. Can I pick up an ant? Can I throw him? Oh. All right, and yeah, look, flying ant. I love it. All right, so yeah, definitely kind of slow. Probably going to want to level that up. Let's just see. Can he harvest? Ooh. Ooh. Dude, he can harvest stuff. That's crazy. <gasps> and it gets metal. Oh, that's the first stone guy I've seen that got. Well, I guess the, the rock drake did. The rock drake did, but the golem couldn't. All right, well, that is pretty cool. And a bunch of other stone guys I don't think could either. So, yeah, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. All right, we got an alpha T-Rex over here. What? Oh, look at all them levels. Let's go ahead and uh, get this T-Rex done. <laughs> that's probably going to max us out. Let's get in as many levels as we can now. So, I'm trying to figure out why is this guy so expensive? What are the things that make it so good? Well, for one, it looks like it's going to be a phenomenal harvester. And come here. Interesting. All right. I'm going to hope this guy has crazy resistance. Because it looks like 12,000 is the most that we're doing. Interesting. All right. Let's go see if we can hit somebody else that we're more effective against. All right, that's... I got to refresh myself on all the elemental efficiencies or, or uh, what we're effective against. But yeah, 18,000. That was with a single claw hit, too. Come here. 36,000. Wow. We are definitely moving up. Yeah, it's pretty good. It is pretty dang good. All right, let's continue to level up. Come on, guys. Come here. Nice, dude. And it just takes out the ro all the rocks. So maybe it's as a harvester, it's really good. Maybe this is what the deal is. I was trying to see if there's any difference between the left and the right click on harvesting. Because that would be cool. Imagine if it did, like, a different harvest. Depending, you know, pickaxe versus hatchet. It doesn't look like it does, but anyway, I'm liking it so far. Let me get the rest of the levels in. All right. One, two, three, four, five. We're at max attack. Now, I'm kind of torn. I probably would normally do health or if I wanted it as a gatherer weight, but I think we're going to do movement speed just because that's going to make it more fun. It only gets one point per. Now, um, my suspicion about thinking there is something more special about this guy was actually uh, the case. Uh, if I do the left click, look, we get crystal there. Let's see if we can find another crystal. Um, basically, left claw can do metal. Right claw does stone on the harvest. So that's actually really cool. I'm surprised that I actually guessed that right. So I'm going to do over here at this metal node. Let's do a right click. Oh, that got metal, too. And it got more metal than stone. Interesting. All right, here's another crystal. Let's try right-click on that. Hmm. That also got crystal, but it was getting, it looked like, more stone than crystal. This is interesting. All right, so maybe I had it, I had it swapped. Left-click. Let me just look at what it says again. 
Harvest stone with it says right claw. I think they have it messed up. I don't know. Let's try another one. All right, we got another metal node over here. Let's try the left click now. Nope, that did that did a lot more. I guess they both do it. I don't know. That's what it's supposed to do. Is swap. But either way, it's it's pretty nifty. I like it. As far as other abilities, it does supposedly have higher health and um, being a glacial as well as better carry weight and can resist damage better. So, yeah, all cool, all cool factors. But it is a little bit slower, as I'd said before, because of the stone typing. All right, let's continue to boost up. I think it's going to be pretty sick. Now, it says there also is a Fen variant of this that can do healing to stuff. Um, however, it doesn't have it in the auto crafter in the thing that we made this. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. Do we have to tame a vanilla one and then we can make it a fen? I don't know. Let me, uh, I'm going to look into it. I think it would be cool to look into, but I am liking this guy so far quite a bit. All right. Making my way over to the swamp. Let's go, bros. Yeah, this guy's awesome. So if I do hit somebody that I'm super effective against, um, I can actually hit him for, I think it's like 56,000 damage, something like that. It's it's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, let's make our way. Megalodon and then neutral Megalodon. Only 18, but it's still not bad. All right, making my way. What's going on over here? Let's see if we can find some more Carcanos. Oh, also not bad for getting rare mushrooms and all that sort of stuff. What I'm finding interesting is on every hit, I'm getting stone or metal. It's kind of crazy, right? Is there just a bunch of little rocks that I'm getting? I don't know. I do not sniff. All right, what do we got over here? Come on, guys. Ooh, look at this Megatherium. Come here, bro. Let's see if I can pick up a Megatherium. That would be actually kind of cool. Hey, I can. Look at that. Come on, smash him. That's so silly. It's super silly. What's the biggest thing I can pick up? All right, you, you're obviously too big. You get out of here. Can I pick you up? I should be able to if I could pick up a Megatherium. All right, move stuff. Ah, oh, I killed him. Oh, wells, oh, wells. All right, usually the Carcanos I see over this way. Um, I think they should be, they're supposed to be spawning in the world as uh, the different element types, but just not seeing them. All right, we got, looks like a normal Carcanos over here. And let's see what else we got. I don't know. I mean, it's worth trying to smash them just to see what happens. All right, Carcanos. Annihilated. Good polymer too. Look at this bear over here. What are you doing over here, bear? You're not supposed to be in here. All right. Get smashed. Oh, rock drake too? You gotta be kidding me. How is a rock drake over here? I've never seen one before. That is so weird. Stuff's spawning in everywhere. Now, I wonder if there's a special dust you can do that will, like, transform uh, stuff. If you're on a map that uh, doesn't really have, like, the mod spawning isn't working you can just use the dust and it will cause guys to spawn in modded variants of it we got a rock golem over here let's try this guy let's try a vanilla one see how we do all right move it gotcha and all right we got a golem sometimes you get hybrid golems all right let's see normal hit all right we want to do a double claw for the best damage come on we got this. Now, I also noticed with this guy, so when you jump up in the air... Oh, let's do a little jump. Oh, I can't do it right now. You can actually hit while jumping, which... Oh, did you see that? How did Torbor go on this guy? <gasps> what? Do you see this? If I aim just right at his head, I can actually do Torbor to him. No way. The, uh, the thing doesn't say anything about that. That's crazy. And look at this storm golem now. Come on, storm golem. 
Let's go. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, it's not good typing for me. All right. So we're going to get out of here. But that is nuts. This guy can do raid torpor. It didn't say anything about that. That is amazing. You just got to aim like kind of upwards at his head. It's crazy. In fact. So I, I wonder what other things we can knock out with this guy. Maybe another Karkonos? I think we do too much damage for that, but. All right, let's, there's a 600 Karkonos there. Let's just see about this. Again, I think I'm gonna kill it. I'd probably have to re-level him. All right, let's get you out of the way. Get all these little eels. Look at this pretty roll rat. Come on, roll rat. All right, I just wanna see if we can get anything on him. All right. Oh, we killed him. That would be cool though, right? That would be super cool. Ooh, look it, look it. Frost Drake. I did not know there was Rock Drakes over here. I'll be honest with you. I really haven't gone in this area all that much. I wonder what other things are here. Get, oh, look at that. 56,000. Somebody we're effective against. Oh, it's pretty fun. It is, it is very, very fun going out in this guy and smashing and we're getting tons of loot along the way. Oh, look at these guys. They're so pretty. You're so pretty, Karkonos. All right, let's just see if we can get any type of torpor on them. Uh, it's hard to hit them without hitting their legs. I don't know. It's neat. It is super neat. All right, we got a couple more. Let's go head on over and just see. There's still the small possibility that killing one could make a bigger one spawn in. Doubtful, but you never know until you really try. All right. Doesn't look like it's a thing. At least yet. At least yet. All right. Well, let me carry on a bit. If there's anything else cool we see, I'll pop back in. Wow, look at these Easter colors. Very, very nifty. Ooh, look at that pretty, a vapor golem. All right, fire we're effective against. And water, I don't think we are, but we can hit him when he's fire. All right, move. All right, come on over here. Oh, he switched to water, you turd nugget. All right, final hit. Let's get this guy. I'm curious if this Karkonos will harvest really well, too. Ooh. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I might do it better by hand with the chainsaw, but still not bad. All right. Let's carry on. Let's see if we can find any other cool elemental stuff. All right. I've made my way across the arc and I want to check out this island. There's been a lot of really cool stuff every time we've gone over here. We got one of our gigas here. We got, I don't know, a couple of different things. Come on. Let's go, Karkonos. Let's go see what's up. There's that ominous mist over there. Jeez. All right. Let's make our way over from this side. Let's get to a higher vantage point so we can see both sides of the island. All right, cool. And I'm also curious about, can I harvest charcoal here? Yeah, look at that. Not bad. Wow, and I get more wood than uh, than thatch on these trees. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeedy. All right, come on, get out my ways. All right, what do we got going on? Oh, it's a shadow main. It's a shadow main. They're usually pretty hard to come across. Let's see. Um, 240 racks, which is getting racked. All right, let's just wait till they're done. I wonder if I could pick up a shadow main. I don't know. I don't want to kill it by myself. Oh, it's a vapor main too. All right, and get him, get him, get him. And a female again. We have only seen wild females. All right, you good? You good? Oh, RG. All right, let's see if we can pick him up soon. As he's done. I only, oh crap. We used so many of our darts yesterday for getting Ghidorah. Oh, I can't pick him up. 
All right, let's find out if I can... <gasps> no way. All right, let's make sure a guy's on passive. All right. Dude. Talk about epic. I could just chill here and have my way with him. That is amazing, guys. Truly amazing. Yo. All right, beautiful. And it should drop it once it's... Uh, the torpor is high enough. All right, we good. Nice! Thank you, Garkanos. That's very cool. All right, so... Oh, weird. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he had meat in him from other stuff. All right, hopefully that's not going to mess with our tame. Um, Is it starved out enough? All right, let's go ahead and do a famine paste. Let's go ahead and do a that. And then it said exceptional kibble four. There we go. Yeah, when you put in that kibble, it resets the tame. Bomb the elemental. Epic! Very epic. Oh, uh, if only we had the 95 in the in the that's in the speed in the melee, that would have been incredible. Alright, let's go ahead and pick it up. What do we get for final stats? Yeah, I'll I'll still take it. An 870 vapor main. Not bad. Alright, good job, Mr. Crab. That is so cool. Now, I wonder if we can breed Vapor Manes. Because we made the other one into a male. It would be kind of interesting to find out. I mean, you can breed Vanilla Shadow Manes, so... Ooh! I want to get a Giga, too. Um, just so if we come across a Skull Crawler again, that's a, that's a maxed out level one. That would actually be hugely helpful for us. Alright, um, let's... You know what? Let's just grab you. All right, cool. Let's teleport Mr. Crab back to the base. All right. Perfect. And let's go get ourselves. Oh, I hope we can do this. They're always a pain in the neck. Oh, 600 giga. Wow. Okay, we're going to get two gigas right here. All right, come on, Mr. Giga. That should be enough, hopefully. And down. All right, I think he's far enough away from the other one that it won't bother us. Hopefully. All right, let me in your inventory, dude. Oh, my goodness. Come on. All right, so let's go ahead, do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Boom, boom. And... It was seven, but I put in ten. All right, fair enough. Taming! So this should be enough, hopefully, for two high-level skull crawlers. If we ever come across those again. They're pretty rare. And... Nice! All right, beautiful. Get packed up. And, oh, we had the extra kibble in it. Let's go grab... It. Dude! Always getting stuck in my dinos. And bottom, boom, thank you. All right, dude, let's go get the other one. Hopefully it will be as easy. Sometimes these gigas, man, they are rough to knock out. This one's got a 95 in the melee. It's not bad. All right, doing good. Just stay in the clouds, stay in the clouds. That's it. All right, we got it. Beautiful. All right, I saw somebody running around here, Carno. It looks like an alpha Carno. Okay, let's hurry. All right, so same deal. Bada bing, bada boom. Boom, boom, and let's give it 10. And let's back off, because that's an alpha Carno. I can't knock it out to prevent it from coming over. Yeah, it is. All right, 100%, and awesome! Beautiful! All right, come here, Mr. Giga. 900. Love it. Oop, sorry. There we go. All right. Doing good today. No way. Guys, look it. We actually have a skull crawler today. <gasps> oh. Yes, we need this. We need this. All right. Um... Should we let him clear out the area, or what should we do? All right, I'm going to throw out my Giga. 
Come on. All right, so the 900 should be a guarantee. All right, so far so good. Dude, it is awesome to watch these guys in action on wild ones. Come on, skull crawler. Holy crap. All right, all right. Come on, get the Giga. I know you like Gigas. Come on. All right, we got to help out. Come on. Dude, look at the shiny. Oh, Skull Crawler is going to take too much damage. All right, all right, come on. No, dude. All right, let's tell the Giga to follow us. Come on over here. Dude, Skull Crawler is going to die to all the element. All right. What do we got here? Oh, you almost killed the Giga. Dude, come on back. Kill him. Kill the Giga. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Kill the Giga. Oh, how's my gig on? Yeah, we did it, guys. Wow. I love it. Oh, I swear I put my gig on passive. I don't know how he got changed. But we now have two skull crawlers. Where's where's my Uh-oh, did I pick him up? <gasps> where's Aurora? Oh, where'd he go? You! Where were you, bro? I needed you. All right. So we can potentially breed them. We have shadow mains we can potentially breed. Oh, this is so cool. All right. We probably should have bred the gigas before I did that, but I just saw the skull crawler. You know, you got to go after it when you see it. Those things are rare. All right. Anyway, back to the base. All right, we are back and oh, look at our new creatures. I am loving it. So I'm seeing we get a mate boost here. Let's uh, let's find out. Let's find out if we can actually breed them. So let's go behavior and enable mating and behavior enable mating. Dude, they're actually mating. <gasps> now, I, I wonder if we'll actually get a... Uh, a hybrid out of it another vapor one we'll just have to find out and then these guys i was a little worried because i did put an elemental thing on that guy but um the first one we got but i think it looks like it's okay so let's go enable mating i don't know if there's some special way you do this but we're just going to try it normal uh no let's go to this leg behavior enable mating all right <gasps> dude they're breeding they're breeding. This is awesome. Where's the little the little meter? Wow! It's actually working. I wonder what a baby skull crawler is gonna look like. I have no clue. None at all. All right, how are you doing? Almost fifty percent done, dude. This is epic. Now these ones usually I think are a gestation, so uh, it should be that. It should be that. And let's see. What about you? How you doing? I have no idea for this guy. All right. Well, uh, I'll see you back once they're just about done. All right. 99 and yes. All right. So we got 14 minutes on that one based on the server settings. And for you. Oh, it's getting close. It is getting super close. I don't know. What do you? Th I haven't seen these guys lay an egg, but I actually have seen like some of the other creatures in the mod lay eggs. So I don't know. How would a baby work with this thing? And you better not eat your baby skull crawler. All right. And yeah. Oh, an egg came out from way up there. <gasps> this is so cool. This is so incredibly cool. I love it. 
I love it. We might get a baby. All right, I'm going to let him keep on breeding so we can get the army, and uh, I'll see you back once, uh, once we're about to get our Shadow Maid, baby. This is going to be so cool. Here it goes, guys. Look at, look at, five seconds. And, oh! <gasps> that, oh, we got twins, too. Oh, they are beautiful. They are absolutely stunning. All right, let's just move the mother over here. Oh, my lord. Come here, babies. They're only, oh, I swear I saw it, too. Maybe there's just one. All right, anyway, claim. Awesome. Let's walk away a little bit. Oh, I swear there must have been a graphical glitch. But that is a gorgeous one. It looks just like the father. My lordy. It's got the crazy, uh, the Vapor one's got the crazy, uh, like, alpha glow. I love that. Oh, look at it. Oh, our little kitty cat. You are so adorable. All right. Let's go ahead and scoop it. Let's make it an adult. What'd we get? All right. Love it! Yeah, that is a pretty one. And it, does it look exactly like the father? Yeah, but without the shiny stuff. That is amazing. We can make the Vapor Main army. I dig it! All right, next up, I got an egg for the skull crawler, all set and ready to go. And I set up a thing to pick up the eggs too. All right, here we go. What will a baby skull crawler look like? I have no idea. Uh, whoa, dude, it's pretty big even as a baby. Holy cow. All right, can, can I just imprint? Nice. Wow! That is super duper cool. Alright, let's pick it up and let's run on out. Yeah, and we can make this. This is going to be cool. We're definitely going to have to make an army of these guys. Like, for sure. And we can take on the kaiju with it. Nice. And we got another female, too. Come on. And... Sweet! Oh, it's going to be even more powerful, too, because it's going to have the mate, the uh, imprinty boost. That is amazing. I love it, guys. I love it. This one looks like it's got a little bit of red in it, too. Doesn't it? I don't know if it's just because the... No, it looks like it's got a little bit of a red hue to it. I like it. All right. Well, on that note, guys, I think we did pretty dang good today. Let me go through those comments. All right, guys. I just finished going through the comments. And yes, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button. And yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have the Wu Tao Long to name. Yes, the Ghidorah. And its name will be none other than King Daddy Ghidorah. I love it. So very epic. Perfect name, guys. Perfect name. For next episode, we need a name for our new Glacial Carcanos, for our new Vapor Mane and Baby Vapor Mane, and for our new Skull Crawler and Baby Skull Crawler. So help me out, guys. And I'm just going to leave these guys breedings. Oh, we already have the army. Look at that. I'm just going to let them keep on going. This is epic. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as you always do. Please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness 
And if you're really liking it, think about hitting that bell icon so you can be notified when the videos first go live. Anyway, thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, peace out.